thing. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long, long time and I have not filmed a video since August. <laughs> and that was last year and it is now 2020. Unacceptable. But hey, I'm back now. I'm in a new setup because as everyone knows, everybody is living in quarantine right now because of what's going on in the world. And I am now forced to do remote learning. For those of you guys who don't know, um, I go to school for acting in the city in Manhattan and I go to the American Musical and Dramatic Academy and I'm an acting major. So it was really interesting to me to see what we would be doing for remote learning. So today I decided to show you guys what it's like to be an acting student in a remote learning setting. I'm just gonna do like a day in my life type of thing, show you guys what I do while I'm in quarantine and what my classes, like curriculum consists of while we are in this remote setting. So let's get into it. Okay, so right now I'm going to work out. I've been doing uh, Chloe Ting's workouts. I know everybody's been doing them, trying to get in shape. Either Chloe Ting and I think it's Jordan Reeves? I could be completely wrong. I don't think that's how you say her name. I've been hearing a lot about those two exercises. Personally, I've been doing Chloe Ting. I might start doing Reeves exercises. But Chloe Ting's workouts have actually been working for me. I've seen a bunch of progress. I'll probably pop some pictures in from like beginning of when I started doing the workouts to like now. It's been cool because usually I don't get like results like that. I was kind of skeptical because a lot of people were doing just like the two weeks ab challenge. But I've been doing like her calendar program. So the first one I did was 26 days and that was the hourglass program. And now I'm doing the ab shredding challenge and that one is a 28 day workout. So I'm currently on day four, I believe. So we're gonna do that workout and we're gonna sweat and it's gonna be good. Usually my workouts are probably like maybe around like an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many videos I have to do. Today I only have to do one ab workout and <laughs> it was good. There's some that literally burn so bad. Like the Russian twist with the leg extension. Oh my gosh. Now I am going to make some breakfast and after I eat, I'm gonna jump in the shower and we're going to get started on some work because I have lots to do. So usually in the morning, I refill my water bottle after I've worked out because I drink a lot of water. I've been drinking mostly water recently because I have a juice and soda problem. Especially ginger ale. If you put me in front of a ginger ale, that's like giving crack to a crackhead. Like, I love ginger ale. But I have been sustaining. Tango. I have been trying to avoid drinking ginger ale. I haven't had a ginger ale in a while, so just have my little water bottle target. I've been drinking water and then sometimes kombucha or like a detox tea to help with my bloating. In the morning, the time I go to a cereal, I'm a Frosted Flakes girl. I don't know what kind of cereal you guys like. So I think I'm gonna do Frosted Flakes. First, let me fill up my water. Top this off. Okay, so usually I start off by going on to Google Classroom. I just see what I have due. Sometimes I come on there and there's like 10,000 I get more home. I mean, time. I'm like, I mean, give you stuff to do. Everyone's in quarantine, and I just need things to do. Do today. I have some self tapes to do for stage combat. So basically, I'm gonna tell you guys what I have to take as an acting student at AMDA. If you guys are interested, I take two acting classes: an improv class, a VPS class, which is voice speech 
production. Alexander Techniques class, which helps with posture, sitting up straight, walking, feeling comfortable, allowing your neck to be free. Dance class, a stage combat class, and then you also get an elective. What am I missing? I completely forgot. When you are a second semester, you take a acting for film class, and that is right up my alley because I personally would like to be a film and TV actor. Not saying anything against Broadway, but personally, starting off with like film and TV and then maybe eventually make my way to Broadway type acting because you need to already be making money to go into Broadway. It's just a thing because, you know, that stuff. Like, now, you never know. You could be out of a job. And with like, TV and film acting, you could do that from like a remote area. Even like voice acting is something I want to get into too and you do not need to be around a bunch of people to do voice acting. You can record your voice and send it to the people and they put it with the animation and it works. Let's get to work. Right now I'm looking at my script for film it's gonna be like a bar scene, so basically when I was talking with my teacher, he was saying that we were going to be focusing on doing like close-up shots and wide shots. Like incorporating that, knowing where we are on the camera so that when it's edited together with me and my partner, because how we are doing this, we are still doing partner work. Even though we are in a remote learning setting, we can still edit it to look like we could possibly be in the same room, same space. So. Right now I'm just looking at my script because tomorrow we have to be DLP for our rehearsal of our lines. And if you don't know what that means, at my school we learned a term called DLP, which is dead letter perfect. You basically need to be off book so that we can work. It helps to be dead letter perfect because when you are off book, you are able to take more choices in your acting and your like body language and like moving around and stuff. I try to be DLP as possible. It's not a long scene. So it's not hard, but you know. Usually what I do when I'm trying to memorize lines is I read it a couple of times and then I say it out loud a couple of times trying like different things, like different tones of voice. Get myself while I'm doing it or like record myself saying my lines so that I can listen back to them. It's also another thing that I use that really, really helps me a lot too. So we're going to do that now. So right now it is hot as I don't even know what in this room. Cause it's supposed to be like 80 degrees today and I'm sweating. But right now I'm working on my guide posts and my guide posts for period scene. And then I have to do my character analysis, which is in this yellow folder. I color coordinated all of my stuff for all my classes so I don't get stuff confused cause I'm trying to be more organized. I'm literally getting so hot. It's so hot. I'm sweating. I'm greasy on my forehead. All right, I'm probably gonna get some frozen grapes because I think that's the perfect thing to do to cool me down so that I can, can and I'm starting to get hungry. It's lunchtime anyway. Okay, I have to turn the fan on so I'm gonna have to talk a little bit louder because it's hot. It's 80 something degrees today, so I had to turn the fan on because I was gonna die and I'm sweating. Right now, I'm going to film my stage combat videos. This is what I have to use as a temporary sword. A curtain rod. To use this curtain rod because I have to turn that fan off because I'm going to be scared that if I do one of these that I'm going to hit the fan. For our stage combat for my school we learn contact and non-contact striking. Sword and dagger. Right now we're on sword. But yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to watch the videos first and then I'm going to do my self tape and Hey guys, so it's been a long day after I was done doing some work for the day, filming myself tapes. I got food with my mom, then after we ate, I went out and did some door dashing to make some money. I just got back like a couple minutes ago. I know this is probably gonna be really messy, this video. My first time getting back into the grind of things, it's been a while, but I promise they will be a lot more put together when I get back into the swing of things. Thank you guys for watching, and if you have any videos that you would like to see on my channel, please comment them down below. Bye.